Hey everybody, welcome back to U Boat. A uh, quick uh, couple corrections. First of all, in the main intro, I realized the um, when I moved this sailor down here, I couldn't do that because he was still on watch. So instead of moving him down to help and then moving uh, the cook up, I just moved the cook over here. And also, when this new blue sailor uh, started working on watch, since he's not good at it, he needed an extra activation token. So just a little bit of uh, bookkeeping. And now also between the, the intro and this, I crashed. So I've restarted the app run through again we are once again trying to repair the torpedo tubes and um, i'm about to fast forward and we're on the second watch and pretty soon we will run into some enemy contacts when that happens here's what's going to happen uh we've got some time so i'll explain it before it happens the first officer will read the course the bearing the speed and the distance of the convoy to the navigation officer. The navigation officer will use this uh, TAC disc to translate those rough numbers into an actual visual representation of where we are. We're currently heading 34 degrees north northwest, so we're kind of like this. When we find a convoy, it might be coming right at us, or it might be running parallel to us, or who knows. It'll be the navigator's job to use this disc to translate all that. So when it happens, I'll show you. Uh, and then we can look up and see what, it, what types of ships they are, at which point we'll find out if they are um, destroyers or if they are um, cargo ships that we can blow up. Of course, we can blow up anything. Meanwhile, of course, the meal is still ready to be eaten when the app says uh, we are on the second uh, station. The Oh, whoops, I forgot to reassign the repairs. All right, so repairs are ongoing. Totally forgot to do that when I restarted. Okay, so we are at 1%. And now, we could just sit here very leisurely in what is called real-time mode, or what is it? I think a half an hour passes every second, which is very slow. We, could, we it would be in multiple minutes before uh, as we slowly work our way up. Oh, which gives me time. Actually, I want to show another thing because this is really cool. I was about to show it. The, this ruler we use to make is also a speedometer. We could see that the distance we wanted to travel at full speed on the surface, it would take 24 hours to make this trip. If we try to do it underwater, where our speed uh, drops significantly, um, well, okay, it would, be, it would take so long. Here we are at 18 hours. I mean, we'll, we'll probably die long before then. We'll all suffocate. So uh, we, we've got that. If we ever need to, if we lose track of where we are, this is a really simple introduction. We're just supposed to patrol, we'll run into some guys, we blow them up, we try to come back home. But there will be other missions, like actually trying to lay mines al along the, the coast of the UK, or trying to um, run a blockade and not be spotted, moving silently. Or um, we'll start out with a ship that's almost completely destroyed, and all we're trying to do is get back home. There's a lot of cool missions. We're just playing the intro uh, tutorial scenario right now, where every time you play, you get going, some mechanical breakdowns happen, uh, and then before too long, you find some bad guys. Um, right, let's see here. How are we doing, by the way? We are at 1,300 hours. So we're not going to make the next shift until 1,800 hours. And um, we still, I can, the captain can only make one more order without having, and if we spot somebody and they're coming right at us, that last order might be to hard dive. The problem is, though, we can't dive because there's nobody in the aft section to fire up the electric engine or, you know, the batteries. So if we had to dive right now, I'd have to give an order to remobilize to get people back here. And then I'd have to give a second action to dive, which means we would draw our first morale card, which, you know, might mean a fight would break out or somebody gets injured or various and sundry things. But anyway, so I've got one more action, which means if we get into trouble, if, if we spot them before they spot us, which is likely, we can see them farther than they can see us when we're on the surface, it probably my first move will be to um, zig. And I do have these two say, well, actually, um, oh, the two sailors, uh, circle and triangle, are not good at steering. Now, my, uh, my two steering guys, they're over here in the officer's quarters. So you know what? When we did the mobilization to move this guy, the first officer should have switched his crew as well, so that the uh, crew who are really good at steering were in position, and the crew who are good at the sonar are in position over there. So, oh, hey, we waited long enough. Bearing two. All right, so the first officer says, bearing 300, distance seven uh, miles, course 188, speed eight. All right, so we take this little thing, and we line it up. Let's figure out their course. Their course, which is the black disc, is 188. Uh-oh, it's they're coming right for us. 188. I got to do this fast. 188. 
Um, let's see, and we get our, we're 340, so they're coming south, we're going north. The bearing, what is the bearing? The bearing, the bearing. The bearing is 301, so we point this to 301. Ah, okay, so they're like this. And how far away are they? They are eight. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, okay, this is really nice. Okay, I figured that out quick. So, we're um, course three. Wait, oh, did I do this right? Did I do this right? Wait a second. No, 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 they're like this, they're like this, right. So, they're heading southbound, we're heading northbound. Um, oh, whoops, I got it backwards. They're like this, they're way off in that direction. Okay, I think it is time to change course to intercept these guys. So, I will issue my last order of the watch, because if I do any more, and I will say, uh, you know, lay in a new course to, to get those guys. Now, um, what course do I want to lay in? Well, I kind of basically just want to turn over here so that we'll kind of meet down here. So let's just say we're going to adjust our, our bearing to, I don't know, just a straight west, due west, uh, 270. The cap says, uh, lay in a new course, 270. And um, these sailors say, aye, aye, captain. They're good at it. So they only have to do use one. And the first officer types that, oops, not the speed, types in the new course, 270. Uh, bup, 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 bup. Okay, 270. Crew in position. Yes, they are. They've done their actions and lay in. Okay, so we've got a new course. And now you can see that the information about our contacts is different because, of course, we're facing a different direction. They are still on a course 188, right? They haven't changed. They haven't zigged or zagged. Um, there are seven miles now, so we're getting closer. And their bearing is 300 degrees. So we are going due west at 270. They're kind of going a little bit this way. And the bearing is now, which is the direction from us, 300. 300. Oh, shoot, I miscalculated before. So they're actually like this. Is that right? OK, because we're, yeah, OK, so I, I misread that. It is tough being the navigator, folks, especially when you're playing one-handed. So this situation, which means they're actually moving away from us. Oh, shoot, I totally misguessed that. If I want to issue another order, though, to readjust, to kind of come along, and because I can go, we can go twice as fast as them, almost three times as fast as them. But that means we'd be, right, let me double check this. Let me see if I got this right. All right, their course is 188. All right, our course is 270. Their bearing is 300. Yeah. You know what, folks? Let's say I wasn't a total idiot. Let's say I'd actually laid in our course for, um, do, uh, you know, uh, to match their course. Let's say I just done that instead. Uh, you know, because there we are. anyway, course, actually, we wanted that course to be 188, number one. Of course, that'd be cheating normally, but give me a break. I'm trying to play for 32 characters right now. Los, los, los. Oh, yeah, course. All right, so this was the course I laid in. Now let's see how they are relative to us. Their course is 188. Our course is um, 188. And the bearing is 300 degrees which means they're back here. Okay, no, no, no. The bearing is 300 degrees. They're right over here, which means like this. Ah, okay. Now, there are some, either I'm making a mistake in translating this information, which could be, I'm still kind of new at this game. It's tough being the navigator, or there are some bugs. Because I keep changing and the bearing stays the same. That's not really possible. I suspect, but you know what? Let's check this. We've still got observers. Let's see if we can eyeball these guys. Let's zoom in, and let's see. They're supposed to be at 300, right? Let's see if we can see them. I don't see anybody at 300. I don't see anybody anywhere. Arr. Right, I think we have found a bug in the software, everybody. Yeah, because as I was turning, like I said, this is buggy software. I think, you know what, folks? Yeah. Um, right. How much more? All right, we still got uh, an hour and a half left on this. Let me lay in another course. What if I, if I just go around 100 degrees? Let's just go straight, due north. Let's just see. Uh, lay it in. New course. Yeah, their bearing is still 300. So, um, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I'm doing this wrong. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, I totally forgot. It doesn't update there. Shoot. Back to 188, back to 188. I'm just going to match their bearing. OK. Everything's fine. It wasn't the but. Uh, it was me. Right. So this was the official order I gave. Um, this was only their information when we first reported it. This is a constant updated information right there. I was reading the wrong information. So after we changed it, let's look at it. Their bearing is 77. 
There we go. It is correct. 77. We, um, we're all going um, at 188. We're all running in parallel. Their bearing is 77. 78. We are pulling ahead of them. This was correct. I was just reading the wrong information. Now I can see there's actually two contacts, one at bearing 79, one at bearing 81. Let's see if we can spot them again. Let's try this. Let's zoom in and look over. There they are. There we are. We can see them. One big ship, one little ship. So we've identified them now. Let's go on ahead. As we're, we're just going along parallel to them. They don't know we're here. We're well outside of their visual range. We can barely see them. There's a little one and a big one. The little one's in front. So the little one, the destroyer, turns out to have a total tonnage of 2,500. And the big one, the whale, has a tonnage of 8,000. The bigger, these are trophies. If we take these down, that's 8,000 points and 2,500 points. OK, we can see them. That's fine. Let's go back. Whew. Everything is fine, folks. I was just reading the wrong information. I totally forgot. OK. So I'm sure my original course would have worked as well. But anyway, we're, we're slowly passing them, which is fine. We've got time. We want to slowly pass them and then eventually kind of turn here so that they will run into us so we can broadside them with torpedoes. So that's all cool. They don't know we're here. We are stalking them. Um, and it's almost 1,800 hours. We're about to have a shift change, which is good. We don't want to go into combat without everybody being rested. Plus, how are the repairs going? Oh, hey, I missed it. The repairs are done. I was so excited. So when the repairs are done, you just flip this to indicate that everybody's done on the repairs. Hooray, the repairs are done. OK, right? Yeah, no repairs. Uh, that's all done. So these guys are now free to move around elsewhere. The torpedo is not going to fail us in the heat of the moment. OK, and all right, you heard that was a triple bell. Whenever there's a triple bell, that means that the watch change, the orders, so we can now start giving new orders. And remember, whenever we flip, we remove one token um, from each of them. So this guy's getting a little more rested. And now this guy, if, um, if he's going to hand over the observing duties, it's going to come down here. But instead, he can say, you know what, I'm done observing. We spotted guys. So he's just going to stop observing. But that means we got rid of this and turned it into this. So this guy's still tired, but this guy's ready to go. He's up top. He's not observing. We need to get him to um, torpedo range. Right, so we flip that. Everybody's doing this at the same time. These guys are both rested. Uh, we come down over here. We'll keep these observers up top. Keep an eye on those guys. This flips down here. And these guys are now well rested. So we're looking pretty good. Um, the game hasn't asked us to eat yet, I don't think. Alrighty, um, but I mean, but the food is ready. Whenever the app reminds us, we're going to eat. And so, let's see. Let's let's check our bearing again. The bearing is now at 93. So we look at this and we translate that. To, and what's the distance? The distance is eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here we are. And I'm um, right for the first ship. Um, right. Okay. Uh, the right. The the second ship is the one we want to sink. That's the big fat one that looks for a lot of points. It's at bearing 95. So it's just a little bit, uh, um, yeah. So we're still kind of neck and neck. We're slowly outpacing them. And sooner or later, we're going to want to change course to come over. We'll worry about that later. All righty. Because if we're going to make a run, I want to get everybody into position. And I got to remember, when the shift change happens, suddenly people might not be in the right position. Once we attack and they know we're here, we're going to want to dive. Because we cannot go mano a mano with a destroyer. They'll take us out. Especially because our deck gun is, in this demo, I don't have the deck gun. But even if I did have it, it, it we'd be hopeless. So we're going to want to be ready to dive. So let's start. Let's issue a mobilization and tell everybody, OK, we're going to get in position to make an attack run. Let's everybody, and we, after that, we're going to want to dive. So everybody assume your positions. So engineer is going to need somebody in both engine rooms who can do engines. So he'll move the square guy over here and diamond guy over there, or a pentagon guy, so they're in position. Oh, and we need both of our ballast guys back here because they're going to need to flood the ballast tanks. So he's ready to go. Um, torpedoes. Let's see. How many torpedo guys do we want up front? Um, oh, also another thing. If we're going to dive, we need to bring these guys in. If we dive, all these guys up here will drown. Let's go ahead and bring our other torpedo guy in in case we need to reload or something like that. Um, right. OK. All right. Is our targeting guy ready? Uh, square? Yep. He's in position to ready to target the multi-stage process. And um, right. Um, we've got our sonar guy. Once we dive, if we need to listen for them, we've got our sonar guy in place. And um, right. We'll leave these guys so we can keep an eye on them. Oh, by the way. Oh, oh, oh. Since I brought a viewer down. 
Oh, wait, oh, I stopped the viewer. I just forgot to mention. Uh, when, when I stopped this viewing action, I should have told the first officer, hey, we only have three guys on watch now. Let's see, let's see if we can see them. What was their bearing? It was 90 something, right? They're still out there? Yep, they're still there. You can see they're running parallel to us. Um, the fewer guys you have on watch, the less, the, the less likely you are to get updated information. You, you know, they, they are more prone to making mistakes or not seeing sudden changes. Right, OK. So everybody's in position to make the attack run. And uh, let's see, bearing is now 107. So we're kind of like this now. Don't really care about that. We care about the big fatty. The other guy's in front. So we're kind of 107. Now we could just do this for hours. Um, you know, we can let a couple of shifts go until we're way in the lead, and we can just speed the game up. But the longer we go, the more we'll have bre breakdowns and stuff like that. Let's go on ahead and issue an order to lay in a new course, kind of cutting off like this. Um, right, so, to start working our way. And so the captain lays in a new course for, let's say, 240. And um, right, so the navigator updates his information and the, tells the first officer. The first officer puts in the new information, 240. Uh, boop, 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 240. Uh, oh, are, are the crew in position to do it? Uh, yes. Oh, yes, they are. Um, no, they're not. We need, oh, right, when we did the mobilization, we should have switched these guys around as well. Again, it's tough being one player controlling 32 characters. So he switched those around when we did the mobilization so that they're both in position to issue the new order and do it. No, of course, the fellow. Okay, and now, not surprisingly, the bearing has changed. Oh, wait, oh, no, it's still the same. Ooh, draw an event card. An event just happened. All right, let's see what the event is. Food poisoning. Draw a crew token. All sailors with the base shape each receive. Uh, all right, so they both get, they all get sick. So we draw, this is the randomizer for crew, and it's everybody with a circle um, has one less action they can do this round. So everybody with a circle. Uh, so he is sick, he's sick. They ate the fish. Sick and sick. Okay, there are much worse events. There are actually good events too. <laughs> torpedo tube maintenance required. Oh, in the bow. So the bow torpedoes are bad. So I could redirect and start working on that. Heck, I do have a guy over there. How, how bad is it, how bad is it? We need three guys to work on it. Do this is a command decision. Do I? I'd have to move more guys over here. We're we're not. We're gonna let the bow torpedo go. We don't need it. We're we're going for a frontal assault. So let's ignore that. Let uh, give me an update, which is not an order. Right. So oh, five miles. We're getting closer. They are still on course 188, bearing 65, which means they're like this. So here we are, and we're still at 240. So we're kind of like that. Um, you know what? Uh, I'll stop. I'll stop. That's my next order. Okay. So, because now if I stop and just rearrange, no, 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 no scratch that, not I'll stop. I want to get closer. I want to get within like, you know, 1,200 or 1,000 meters. So we'll stop when we get like right around here. When our bearing is like this, that's when we'll stop, we'll submerge, we'll lay in wait, they'll walk right in front of us, and we'll blow them up. So we just have to wait until the bearing, because that's how we can tell where we are, say like right about here, when the bearing gets to say 110 degrees. So that's going to be a little while. We're at 69 degrees right now. Um, right, which means we're, we're still like that, because again, this translates to over here. And what's there? There are five miles, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's just about like this is what we're looking at. Um, you know, give or take. It's a rough science. It was a rough science back in the day, too. We didn't have GPS back in uh, World War II. Okay, bearing 71. Now, this is just a waiting game. We could actually wait it out, or we can speed up. I'm going to speed up to the medium speed. Let's see how fast that bearing is changing. 73. Um, OK, what the heck? Let's speed up full speed. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, and it's time to eat. You can hear, so the game is slowed back down. And now is when we have to check. What have we eaten? Hey, we have a nice, uh, some scrambled eggs, eggs and onions, plus some lemon. These are gone. All right, well, they come back. It's kind of a, a food spoiling thing. That was a double meal. That was a two food. Two food means no effect. Our morale didn't drop or fall. That's OK, because our morale is as high as it could be. If we hadn't fed them at all, our morale would drop, and we would have had a bad event. So now, um, at some point, I've got to issue an order to prepare the next meal so we have it ready when people are hungry again. But in the meantime, bearing 77. OK, we're moving along. But again, we've slowed back down. I do have time to go on ahead and cook the next meal right now, but there's nobody in the crew quarter to cook it. And who's the best chef? 
OK, I could mobilize and put him back over. I put him over here to help in the engine room. But now I'm realizing, because I'm not a very good captain, it was going to be a while. It was probably going to be, we're going to track these guys for like a day, maybe, or at least a half a day. So if I'm now, do I waste a turn just to, oh wait, new message from HQ, new oh, yeah, message from HQ. Cool. All right, now that means uh, my guy, uh, my first officer, he's in position, so I can do that. Uh, but here's the problem. That feature doesn't exist yet. Unfortunately, there's no button. I've got the guy. I could issue the command. Uh, first officer, use the Enigma machine to you know, intercept uh, the, uh, the high command orders. I could, but it's not implemented that. But if I did, we would do that. And it would tell us, it would warn us of enemy minefields, or new deployments, or it, it could be um, some update about a big event in the war that raises our morale. It could be any number of events. But since I can't do it, We'll say we didn't get the Enigma machine installed. We need some IT help. We're just going to ignore the message because we don't have to because that would be another order I would be spending to listen to the Enigma message. So we're just going to let that go. What's our bearing? We're at 88. We're getting further, folks, which means, OK, they're kind of like this now. What's the distance? Distance four. Uh, one, two, three, four. OK, you know what? We're getting to the point. Once I think we hit the distance. Because if we get within three, they might spot us. There is a destroyer out there, and that could be a very big problem for us. 91. OK, you know what? I think this is good. Uh, 91. Ah, let's see. We slide it up here to kind of continue representing where we're at. What's the bearing now? And again, I could speed this up, but I'm, I'm afraid. I'm just not a very good player. Bearing 93, which means it's kind of like this. Yeah, if, if we match that to that. OK. You, yeah. Uh, if bearing 125 is going to be, we're right on top of them. Let's wait till we get to bearing 110, which is almost there. As soon as that happens, I'm going to issue the order full stop and then a follow up order to dive. Right. OK. Let's just speed it up till we get there. Oh, wait. Oh, no. I lost track of time. It's a new watch. Everybody's in the wrong position. No. All right. These guys are still up top watching. This guy is rested. Now remember, the game is slowed down, so we've got time to deal with this. One of these goes away, this goes away, and one of these goes away. These guys are still very tired from being on watch before when they weren't very good at it. At the end of the next watch, they'll both get some more rest. OK, shoot. All right. Oh, wait, what's the bearing? What's the bearing? 101. OK, crap, crap, crap. We need to slow down. Um, we do have two people in the engine room, but they're not good at it. Do I issue a redeployment? Do I issue a redeployment? OK, yeah, let's do it. I issue a redeployment, and let's get the right guys to work the engine. And while we're at it, let's get the chef. Oh, wait, who's the right chef? The chef now is Triangle. Let's get Triangle guy down here and this guy up here. And let's say this guy, um, oh, wait, oh, whoops, right, right. And let's say this guy is done observing, all right, because he's come down, all right, and we're not have that right. So I got to tell him we're only having two observers now, all right, but, all right, yes, yes, yes. But we know where they are, we're, we're pretty fine with that. Um, let's see, I swap these guys. Oh, and these guys have to swap. Is that right? Um, no, no, no. Yeah, square and right, yeah. So we have to swap. OK, so everybody's in the right position again. Again, this would be so much easier if there were other players who were responsible for this. Right, now, um, we're at bearing 107. Close enough. Um, next order, all stop. Speed, stop. OK, right, are the people in position? Stopping. Yes, they are. Um, all right, oh, wait, oh, no, it's in the engine room. The engine room, I got it wrong. Triangle guy. Um, and that, that required, oh, we need two guys. So this guy was over here, sorry. So all stop. It's going to be two guys, triangle guy and circle guy. They can both do it. And in position, yes, we've all stopped. Now I need to do another redeploy to move this guy back over here. So now uh, we are going to dive to 10 degree, 10 feet or 10 meters is, is, uh, is periscope depth and torpedo depth. Dive. All right, all right. Our crew in position. All right, we need to have these guys switch from diesel to electric. So they are both doing another action. And we have to have these guys flood the ballast. So they're doing an action. And um, the, oh, who else? Right, so for diving and surfacing, we've done the ballast, we've done the engine. And, um, right, and new depth in the control room, the sailors, the two, uh, right, they both have to do stuff as well. Are they the right guys? I believe I did switch them correctly. Yep. So they are both done. Everybody's in position. We have dove. You will notice now, I, ca I, oh, no! These guys just drowned. They just drowned because I got carried away. Tell you what, before we did that, we did one more deploy. Everybody off the surface. Um, quick, 
uh, go help everybody. Oh my gosh, that was so dumb. All right. Um, oh, jeez. Okay, uh, again, there's too much to do by myself. Uh, so they didn't drown. I had, I'd done an deployment. Then we dove. And now I can issue an order for up periscope. Is the periscope operator in position? Periscope operator is the blue square. The blue square is in position. He will operate the periscope. Boom. Okay. And now we can look around again. Because here's the thing. We don't, we don't have anybody on, on deck, so we don't have those updates anymore. There they are. They are at 110, which is exactly what we expect. OK, and so we can keep an eye on them like this. You can see they're facing right towards us. They're coming right towards us. They don't know we're coming. Now, here's the thing. I could just turn. We could turn and face and shoot them directly, but it's better to hit them in a broadside. Which way are we facing? We are facing, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're facing like this. That's a pretty close to broadside. I don't want to waste another um, action to rotate us again. I, you know, this would be close enough broadside when they come to us. And you can see they're very, very slowly coming. All right, so I've issued an order. We've checked it out. Oops, uh, oops, cancel on the way I just did. Um, right. Now, also, I could issue an order to go to the hydrophone, which means who's the hydrophone officer? Uh, this radio guy, Triangle, he's in the right place. He could do the hydrophone, and that would be my last order. Um, until the next watch shift when we're going to switch over. You know what my last order is? We're hungry. Let's, um, let's make some food, everybody. So where's our current chef? Triangle chef is going to make some food. Right, so we fill up. What's our next meal going to be? Our, our morale is fine, so let's just do a double. Since there, there's no line, we could do a triple here, but let's just do a double. Let's just do bangers and mash, ham and potatoes. So we've got the food ready. And now the next time, we will have to serve this lemon. So we won't be able to do a big morale boosting one. But you know, this is just going to keep our morale where it is. That's fine. Now, I don't want to give any more orders. When we do the next watch, we'll get to reset. Um, because if I issued orders right now, so I think it's now a waiting game. Except the, bows, the torpedoes cannot be launched from tube number two. Our tube number two is dead. Uh, if I issue an order to move engineers up here to fix it, th that will brace the morale. You know what? We have three other torpedoes. We do not need. Oh, torpedo tube is down. We still got one, three, and four. I'm making the command decision. Forget it. We are not going to repair torpedo tube two. It is offline because I don't want to demoralize the crew by making them work overtime. So I think we're pretty much done now. And let's see. It is. Oh, wait. It's all right. No, it's it's 2:50 in the morning. At 6 a.m. at six at 600 hours, there'll be another shift change, and then that's when I can reset and issue new orders. Um, and in the meantime, oh, I do want to issue an order because you know what? Let's say that last order to the periscope. Let's say I'd done the hydrophone instead, just so you guys can see how that works. So um, let's see. Instead of the periscope officer, I had issued an order to the radio officer to do the hydrophone. Here's how that works. Los, los, los. Yep, he was in position. He did it. So the um, now um, you give this to the navigator. They've got or the first officer can do it. You've got a dial. You 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 listen in the direction you think they are. We think they're at 110. So let's rotate till we find 110. Yep, and there they are. We have contact. This is almost as good as having observers on board. They are three miles away. Oh my gosh, they're only three miles away. They're getting close. OK, um, they're still coming. They don't know we're here. So they're walking right into our trap, everybody. All righty. So and that's pretty loud. I don't know if you can hear it. Let's go ahead and reduce that a little bit. OK, so in, um, in two hours or so, in, in two and a half hours, we're going to have a change to the watch. I can start giving orders again, which means I'll get everybody into position to do a, an ideal firing. And then after we fire um, we, and hopefully sink that thing, we will dive, dive, dive to avoid the uh, death charges of the, um, what do you call it, the, the destroyer who's up there. In the meantime, they're three miles away. So I guess it's time to let's go. And we're ignoring Torpedo Tube 2, just living with it, because I don't want to hurt the morale of my team. Let's say I did. Let's say I, I did an order, and then I, um, I to everybody move around, and then I ordered because I really cared about that. We would have hit uh, an, uh, a morale, which would have been head trauma. Assign this to a random sailor using this, and that sailor would have head trauma. If they get too many of these, they die. And, um, and because they've got that, they can do one less action. So it would have been, let's say it would have been gray circle, would have gotten head trauma. 
And so he can only ever do two. And if he gets more, he'll die. But the first officer, the medical officer, who is blue circle, we could do a redeploy. Blue circle could go to where gray circle is and use, what do you need? You need bandages to heal him up by using a medical thing. So that would be a possibility. Um, and basically, you take this and you slide it underneath as a reminder that he has one less action he can do and he needs bandages. But that's not what happened because we're, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not a cruel Captain Queeg type. I'm not pushing them. I'm just going to wait just uh, you know, an hour and a half. And again, let's just go ahead and speed it up. All righty, here we go. Everybody gets rested. Okay. And I didn't drown anybody. Hooray. Oh, my goodness. Okay, uh, so, okay, he doesn't actually have this head trauma, that was for, right, so we're a little bit of rest. Oh, by the way, when, when, I, when these guys came down, they were done, um, and so, you know, they were still, they couldn't do anything more, and now they're all rested too, and finally, these guys are exhausted um, from the dive. Did I not take one off? I think when we did the dive, I forgot to, when, when we did the shift change, I forgot to switch these, didn't I? I think I did. As always, watch with the uh, subtitles turned on. All right, wh where are we at now? They are at, oops. Oh, where are they? Two miles, bearing 102. So bearing 102 and two miles away. They're getting very, very close. When, so it's going to get to the point where their bearing gets closer and closer. When their bearing is at 240, they are in the perfect position for us to fire at perfect broadsides. Let's see, and we wanted, well, I don't remember, was it contact one or contact two? The game doesn't tell you. You just have to know. I think it was contact two. I don't remember for sure. But you know what? I'd be happy to sink either of them. So, oh no, electrical installation checkup required in the engine room. All right, so that means this is a green event in the engine room. We can ignore it. We don't have to do anything about it, but it could lead to something else. All right, but that means I have to leave here to look at that Ah, uh, all right, all right. So, um, and there is a guy over. Oh, by the way, this reset. So, what's the repair needs? Um, right, we're not doing the repair. Two people. There are two people here. What the heck? Let's go on ahead and put them to work repairing it. All right, brown triangle. Uh, he needs one, and um, uh, gray pentagon needs two to do it. There we go, because he's a navigator, and so they're working on it. Yeah, right. Okay, so that's it. But now I have to issue, that was my first order to prepare. Now I'm issuing another order to go back to the hydrophone. Okay, bearing 97. All right, okay, there's a still, right, because again, we're going at real time speed where it's only half an hour. I mean, and, you know, this can take many, many hours. Um, they are getting closer. And now, see, if I were a really smart player, I would figure out the speed with which they're moving and contribute that to this. I know they're moving two miles an hour. Each one of these squares is a mile. So instead of just watching them, using an order to watch them, if I was a good navigator, I would just I would say, hey, first officer, tell me when an hour is passed. Because when an hour is passed, we'll know they're one step closer. So you could play that way, but I'm, I'm, I'm playing for 32 players. So I'm just going to keep here watching them. The repairs are ongoing. Although, will I? Wait a minute. It was this guy. Oh my gosh, I've got the wrong guys. I've got the wrong guys in position. These guys can't do the engine when we dive. So is it going to happen this turn? Yeah, we're at seven. Yeah, I think it is. So, oh man. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, what happened? What just happened? Oh, they just moved. They're at bearing 92. Yep, yeah, they're just they're getting closer and closer. So again, if I were a good captain, you, you may think the captain is just bookkeeping, but there is so much to pay attention to as the captain, because you got to pay attention to who is going to be ready to work when you need them to work. I've just made these guys work. They are not in now. They could actually do the engine, but it would take two actions. This guy can't do it. So I've got to move somebody else over there. So now I've got to redeploy. Okay, let's get um, this guy. We're, you know, we're, you're not, let's see. Let's get both of these guys. No, no, no. Because, wait a minute. Oh, no, it's these guys, these guys. This guy is, who's, who's on the radio? Oh, it's this radio officer. Oh, I can't be on the radio anymore. Oh, um, oh dear. All right, well, they're gone again. Shoot. I have lost track of stuff, folks. Again, 
This is an incredibly nigh impossible game to play solo. There's so much to bear in mind. But here's the thing. When the shift changed, um, the guy who's in here now is not good at it. So he had to continue to allow me to listen. Let's say it was the triangle guy. He had to do two to allow me to continue listening. Um, let's go on ahead and uh, let's do another redeploy and get the first officer himself over there. Because the first officer can do two, the other guy can do two, so they can start the engine. This guy can do the other engine. But now, oh, um, and these mechanics can work on, no, 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 let's just have, a, not the first officer, let's have a mechanic. No, 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 because as we dive, um, right, at new depth, we need to have two ballast guys. So those guys, even though they're wrong for it, I should switch everybody around, but I've already started the repair, so I'll just leave it. Okay, I think that's fine. I, I think that's good. Let's let's say this guy's not doing. Let's put both of these guys um, in position just in case we need them. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Anyway, in the meantime, we're still listening. Kind of retroactive. Right. Bearing seventy nine. They're getting closer. Again, I could. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. Let's just make sure I've got this right. We're going to want to fire the torpedoes. The um, and firing torpedoes means one. And all right. So both those guys circle. Oh, circle and triangle. So, uh, circle can, uh, right, wait, who, oh, the targeting computer, square. Square can do the targeting computer. Then um, circle can flood the tubes. And um, then, uh, let's see, and he could fire, but we want both guys to fire. So you can flood me tubes. So yeah, both these guys will fire. Okay, oh wait, gotta keep on listening. 75, they're getting closer, ever so closer. They're still within two miles. And so, yeah, this is my opportunity. Again, if I were a good captain, I would just know this stuff. I wouldn't have to think about it. Are we in danger? No, we're at 9 o'clock. We're not going to change the watch until 12 o'clock. Maybe. No, no, no. They're going to be here um, sooner than that, I think. Oh, yeah, because they're getting faster and faster as, as they get closer and closer angle-wise. Oh, wrong way. Bearing 69. So they're getting ever closer. Ah, I'm nervous. I'm also nervous because I've kind of forgotten how to do. I haven't fired torpedoes for a long time. But it is just a process like anything else. Let's go on ahead and speed it up. We want to get, we want their bearing. Basically, we want their bearing. I said 240. We want their bearing to be at zero. And when their bearing is at zero, that's when we fire. Or we could fire a little bit early, like bearing at 5 or 10 degrees, because we've got to lead them a little bit too. Um, the computer can only do so much. So let's just speed up. Hopefully, there's no other events. Repairs completed. Hooray. OK, thanks. Um, so this repair is gone. If this hadn't, things could have started to fall apart there. So the repair is completed. Who was working on those repairs? That repair. These guys are done on repairing. Cool, cool, cool. All right. What's the what's the bearing? Sixty-five. Let's speed up again. All right. We gotta. Oh no! It's I totally misfigured time. They are going slower than I thought. We're at bearing thirty-four, and we have to switch stations. No, rested. Rested, rested. So everybody's in the wrong place again because I am the worst captain in the history of naval warfare. All right, let's see. Is everybody okay? Can we? Although everybody's rested. So even though everybody's in the wrong place, we can still do this. We've got people where we need them. It's just going to be kind of inefficient because the ideal people, I should, I, I could. This has got to be it, right? Oh my gosh, they're distance. They're, um, they're less than a kilometer away. All right. Let's just live with it. Let's just live with it. What's their bearing? 30. Uh, hydrophone adjustment required. Oh, no. The hydrophone is starting to, all right, so we have a new problem. The hydrophone, that could be bad if it starts to fail us. But I don't want to mess with that. Although we do have two guys. How many people? No. Oh, but if I start to repair, then I can't watch. And I need to watch because I'm not very good. 32 degrees. They're practically right in front of us. Um, yeah. Maybe I should get down to my, okay, okay, we're, we're, we're going to go. We're just going to go with it is, no time to redeploy, mostly because I just don't want to think, all right, okay, we will do one redeploy. We'll do one redeploy. Get our correct guys into the correct zones so it's more efficient. And um, get the correct guys. All right, fine. Now, yeah, that's our redeploy. So now the right people are on watch to do their jobs. Um, oh, wait, no, no, no. Not the targeting guy. The targeting guy is, oh, no, no, it's still fine. It's still fine. The targeting guy is the pentagram. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so we're fine. Um, need to listen more. 23 degrees. Should I go, folks? 
I feel like I'm playing a dangerous game. And I also feel like that, that whole readjust might have totally messed us up. Oh, by the way, um, I had to issue an order to Square to continue, to continue listening, right, to the radio operator. And it took him too, because he's not good at it. Oh my gosh, we'll, we'll live with it, we'll live with it. That's what I had to do to keep on listening as the shift changed. Bearing 18 degrees. You know what? Okay, this is good. Let's, let's fire up the torpedo. All right, so we're going to go. Um, right, so uh, order. Oh, and this is going to, all right, I've done too much. All right, order. Armaments, torpedoes. Uh, is the operator in position? The operator for the torpedoes is the Hennigan. Yes, he is. So he is going to do one to fire up the computer. All right, there they are. Targets one and two. You can see them in the periscope. I uh, see. Target um, bearing 13, bearing one, bearing 13. That's the big one we want. OK, he's at 13. Let's see. Now, issue an order to flood torpedo tubes. No, 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 no. Have to flood torpedo tubes. All right, it's torpedo. Yeah, both of those guys. Um, right, flood. And if I recall correctly, uh, one guy can flood as many as you want. So we're flooding everything. All right, so that was an action for, sir, for triangle in position. Now, um, let's see. Contact zone. We want con we're targeting contact two. We've got three. Now, let's just fire all three torpedoes, which is going to be three orders. One, two, three, which means we're going to have an event, a visual impairment. We'll worry about that in a second. Fire one, two, three torpedoes. One, two, three. Those guys are exhausted. Fire, fire, fire. They're all firing at two. All right. Was two the correct one? I hope so. We'll find out. So, um, oh, go. All right. You're firing, right? And this is the rear torpedo, by the way. Come on, torpedoes fire. Oh, whoa, 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 hit the button, hit the button. That's it. Torpedo, torpedo, torpedo. I forgot the important button. So here go the torpedoes. Oh, and I had my bearings wrong. I went for, well, you know what? If we destroy the destroyer, great. Then we can just give chase to this guy. He has no, so they're off. It's going to take a while to get there for us to find out. Now, I should prepare to dive in case we miss. They know we're here. They're going to come for us. So um, is everybody ready to dive? Oh, oh, no, visual impairment. Assign this to a random sailor. Had to do that. It was, again, I keep finding a uh, gray circle. So he is no longer a good observer. So he has one less observation he can do. All right, there go the torpedoes. They're very far away. Uh, I don't know. I think I waited until, because I, I, was, I was going at the wrong guy. I targeted two. And so I, I thought I had it. Well, we'll still find out shortly. All right. Um, let's just wait. If it sinks, we don't have to dive. What's it going to be? Any second. Oh, torpedo missed the target. Torpedo missed the target. Alarm. Dive, 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 which gives us another event. Sprained ankle. Assign this to a random sailor. A brown circle. Brown circle has a sprained ankle. All right, well, he's not doing anything anyway. OK, order to dive, everybody. So the diving process. Try not to panic. Try not to panic. Oh, I'm totally frantic. Right, OK, so these guys, they have to do the ballast. Um, so uh, circle and triangle, they've done the ballast. These engineers have to switch control. So they're switching control to electrics. And um, the, the pilots on the con have to be involved as well. Um, but they're the wrong pilots because they didn't switch them around. So they're having to do double action. Everybody's in position. All right, we've got to go back. Uh, back. Uh, we're d uh, d diving to, I don't know, depth 93. Fine. And uh, there's a crew in position. Yes, dive. OK. Oh, my gosh. All that, and I missed the target. But you know what? They, you know, they know we're here, but we have dived so low, they are not going to find us. Although, that means we can't use the periscope, but we can still track them. And now, if I want to give the order again, who's the hydrophone officer? Oh, yeah, Square. Square, I could give him the offer order one last. No, I can't. He's not good at it. I can't give him any more orders. So I could, um, but although I could do one more. If I give any more orders now, we're just going to get into worse. So, oh, that was a, oh, that was such a setup and such a fail, everybody. I don't know what I'm doing. But let's see, what time is it? It's 1,500 hours. At 1,800 hours, we're going to switch. And I can reset this, but I can't reset this. But one thing I could do is I could do one action to um, give everybody beer, which would bring the morale back up. But I'll do that later. So we dove. Um, after, after, you know, if time's up, I'll try to pick them up on the hydrophone again, and we can pick up and start trying to chase them. 
Uh, because they, they have probably switched course now. So we could go looking for them, or we could resume our original patrol. But folks, all that, and I was hoping I failed, but at least nobody died. That's the important thing. And folks, I'm going to stop right there. That was a little taste of U-Boat. If you want to hear some final thoughts, you can do that eye in the top right corner screen, or follow the show notes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.